Hello, it's me. Yeah, it's this problem again. Final Cut Pro crashes again. And today I'm going to show you a few more ways to solve this problem. And these methods are rather drastic. First of all, this is a small software that I use to track all the media libraries. As you can see from this, it helps you to check what is the potential problems that you're having. For example, there's a little hand sign and two, you know, um, caution signs. A little hand sign, you can just follow the instructions and maybe restart and reopen Final Cut Pro 10 to see if your library is having some serious problem where it's about disk issues or like external drives. And yep, you can just try it open. But for now, I'm going to move on to the next problem that I might be having which is the missing original media files. It might not seem very important, but trust me, these would result in crashes of Final Cut Pro 10. It happens to me a lot of times because I stacked too many original media that is already dislinked. And obviously, if you have too many render files, it might you know, cause problems of crashing because you might not have enough disk space for your render files or proxy media files so remember to clear all your render files as soon as you finish editing just you know go to your Final Cut Pro and go to files and just look for delete generated clip files and just select everything and do not worry about all these warnings just click OK I'm sure everything is going to be alright and that's all you need to do all your render files will be you know cleared next up I will recommend you guys to you know close this library you can just right click on this uh, ultimate file and just go to close library and just click it and this library folder will be closed yep it's not forever but it will be closed and you can reopen them you know from here open library the purpose of this is to check where is this problem of crushing coming from you know it might be your uh, external drive especially if you're putting all your media files on your external drive like me quit your Final Cut Pro and then eject your external file this starts the debugging process of course you need to restart your Final Cut Pro and create a new media library uh, just click save and perhaps change the name as well and remember this library should be at your own computer you know the actual hard disk of your computer this will actually show if your problem is coming from the external drive and if this still doesn't work you can always reset your MVRAM and how do you actually reset it will be just following the instructions on the screen and yep it sometimes just softs everything and yep it's supposed to be the first step to try but I'm lazy and I really want to solve this problem with other methods first and if after resetting it still doesn't work go and find your Final Cut Pro icon pressing option and command click it deletes your, all your preferences but saves your media files and libraries so this is like the ultimate step and once you restart your Final Cut Pro it's going to be brand new it's like getting Final Cut Pro for the first time and since it's a new Final Cut Pro it's going to not have anything here so you're gonna close the untitled library and open the original library that you have you just go to locate them at the respective drive that you have for example for mine is at the external drive and save under this folder and i've already backed up all the necessary folders so remember to back up your final cut pro it actually automatically backs up and i just gonna click open and all my stuff, all my event files over here, all my projects and all my titles, plugins will be around as well and also my transitions will be here as well 
all these methods combined should be able to fix your problem if you're still encountering this problem just drop me a comment and i will answer you asap if you think that these problems are caused by plugins such as titles or tracking or any other plugins that have already installed just watch another video of mine i'll put the link in the description so just check it out